I had an experience with Julie True. I was interviewing her on radio, and after I interviewed her, there was a tangible, I mean, I, I, I don't mean just something in my mind. I mean tangible, you could touch it. It was peace. And she has found that when she sings, there's like a portal from heaven coming to earth and flooding people with, I mean, in this world, the way, I mean, just be human and just breathe a few times and you'll, you'll find challenges in this world, challenges in the economy, challenges with traffic, challenges with family, challenges with finance, just plain challenges. If you could just bask in that presence it's the presence of God is what it is. And somehow, uh, Julie, I don't think you can answer this question, but I have to ask you anyway. How come this happens when you sing? When I get quiet and just be still and start to sing, I always feel the peace of God. <clears throat> and you, you know what's so amazing? It's sort of like Every one of us has gifts inside of us. Like uh, the last thing in the world I ever wanted to do was be on television behind a microphone. Absolute last thing in the world. But through the cir circumstances, I found myself in that position. But it's almost as if we get sabotaged in our gifting before we even know we have the, gi the gifting. Now, Julie, when you went to church and you wanted to use, I mean, you're a fabulous musician, you wanted to use an instrument to worship God, what did they tell you? <clears throat> that was not allowed. The way I grew up, it was the believed that it was not pleasing to God, that under the New Testament, that he instruments were not you know part of that because it said to sing and make melody in your heart to the lord uh, we have a hebrew <laughs> word that explains what you're saying right now you know what that hebrew word is meshuga it means crazy <laughs> you gotta be crazy I, I mean the whole purpose is for us to have intimacy with god and and worship god but your cd your music I'm going to use an expression the teens use, is hot. I mean, <laughs> literally so hot. There was this woman in Canada that got this particular CD before she even heard. Now, this is hot. Before she even, well, I'll let you hear it in her words. Let's go to that rolling. When I went down to get the mail, there was only one package. And as soon as I just opened the corner, I had, didn't even see the CD, the color of it or anything. The power of God came on me really strong. I nearly fell on the floor. I was able to get to the chair, to fall on the chair rather than the floor. And I started to weep and it was so incredibly beautiful. It was like a pure and holy weeping. It wasn't a painful, sorrowful weeping. It was like a healing weeping. And I dashed into the living room and I put it on my CD player. And when I started to praise the Lord, something else incredible happened to me. I was praising God in a way I never praised God before. It wasn't in words, but it was in the sound of my voice. It was so different. And I knew there was angels. I knew the room was full of angels. And I was kind of afraid to open my eyes because the presence of God was all over me. I just felt the love of God, the peace of God. And I just felt so comforted. Now, when you hear that, Julie, is that 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 is wild? That is wild. I mean, she hadn't even heard it yet. I mean, she had not started playing it yet. Even, and you, you know, know the thing that I I find when I listen to your music. I feel so peaceful. I feel so mm -hmm. restful. Do you do you hear this from other people? Yes, that's peace and rest, helping people sleep, babies being able to sleep, and um, that's a big part of the kind of feedback that I've gotten. Oh well, on this CD, you could bottle it. It's so tangible. You're going to hear this and experience for, this for yourself. We'll be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Julie True. And when Julie sings, we're just flooded. 
the atmosphere changes. It becomes a demon-free zone. And she was leading worship at a series of meetings that a friend of mine, Jim Gall, was conducting. And the subject was angelic encounters. And somehow, angels like that music. Julie, tell me a story of someone that's listened to this music and what's happened with them. Well, there's one pastor in particular that has contacted me several different times and he said that every time that he listens to the CD that he has dreams and visitations, angelic visitations. So he started having his whole church do times of soaking where they just come before the services and just um, rest in the Lord and, and kind of... Um, it's sort of a meditative type of music and so they've been I've had lots of reports of angelic visitations and people playing it 24 7 in their house so that oh, they can well let me it. tell you something I'm gonna start playing it 24 7 in my house I listen to it almost every day because I like it it's supernatural peace but it doesn't matter what we're saying you're going to experience Julie if you would go to the piano and you're going to experience this for yourself uh, I want Julie to sing this is spontaneous this means these words are coming from God I want to know you and you are here is that the prayer of your heart? Do you want to know God? Well, He's here.
Hello, it's Sid Roth here with Julie True. And Julie, when you were singing those songs at the conference, what was going on inside of you? Well, I was, especially uh, the last 20 minutes or so of the CD, there was a time where we were praying over people and they were, they were just desperate people. And, and I was in a place of just crying out to God and saying, I want to know you more. And there was such a presence of God that came in that moment that I was just felt drunk, you know. It was just like woozy kind of feeling, and um, and that's when the the song right after I want to know you is you are here because I was seeing that God was there in that moment, and I felt His presence and His goodness. And you love to pray over people and sing over people. There's something about singing over people, it, especially you told me you like to sing over people that are terminally ill. I've, there's something in me that is drawn to life and death moments. I, I don't know, it's just something God's put in me. And I, I love to sing over people and comfort them through music and just make an, create a place for them to connect with God. In and people spirit. get healed yes. when, many times. Like, yes. uh, for instance, uh, you go to a place called a healing room uh -huh. in uh, Tennessee. Right. And uh, tell me some of the people that have been healed. Well, one lady that came, she had been diagnosed with breast cancer the week before. And she came from a background where I don't think she'd ever been exposed to music and worship, you know, instrumental music. And she came in and she literally sat there on the couch for about an hour and a half with her hands in the air, weeping and crying. And God just met her there. There's something about music, you know, when, when someone's worshiping, it creates an atmosphere for God to come in and invade. And, and she was healed. She, we found out that she was healed well, after that. What about sleep? I mean, that's a big problem and, uh, throughout the world. People are having difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. What reports are you getting? Yes, I've heard that that that's the number one thing people wish for is a good night's sleep and so we have um, we've heard lots and lots of people that use it to sleep by or if they wake up in the middle of the night then they put on healing love and they're able to go back to sleep and babies use it to sleep too 
I've had people that run daycares that play it to create an atmosphere of peace for the, the kids there. Julie, there is someone that's watching us right now that is terminally ill. I want you to sing to that person right now. I see you down on your knees, crying out to God, saying, where are you? Are you really real? And He wants you to know that He loves you and He is near to you. He's near to the brokenhearted. And if you open up your heart to Him, and if you cry out to Him, He will meet you where you are. And He will heal your broken heart. There is such a presence of God. And I believe it's pouring into you right out of your television set. And there's a scripture, Julie. It says, in His presence, all things are possible. And I believe that anything that you need, you're in His presence right now. Anything that you need is yours. God is telling me that there's someone, actually, there are many people with problems with their hip, but what I'm hearing on top of that is there are people that just as Julie was singing, that are desperate to know God, desperate to have intimacy with God. And if you only knew how much He loves you. If you only knew how special you are in His sight. That's what Julie was sensing in her spirit when she was singing to you. There's a start. It's just, a, it's a beginning. And it's being honest and telling God you're sorry for all the mistakes you've made, and you are. And telling God that you believe that Jesus died in your place and His blood washed away all of your sins and asking Him to live inside of you. It's really that simple. Someone that is deaf in your ears or hard of hearing, your ears are opening. Someone that's back and neck, you're suffering, you are healed in Yeshua, that's Hebrew for Jesus, in Yeshua's name. Julie, remember that woman, uh, I believe it was a woman that had demons, literally, evil, you know, an evil presence. Just as there's a God presence, there's an evil presence. Fortunately, the God presence is stronger than the evil presence. It just eats it up, <laughs> you know? But there was this woman that had demons in her house. Tell me about her. Yes, she and her young son had been um, harassed for quite a while and this they were living in a historic house that was built during the time of the Civil War and it had a lot of stuff associated with death and anyway they were hearing voices and doors knocking and just a lot of stuff and her son was awake a lot so they started playing healing love all the time 24 7 in her house and they she started to sense the presence of angels and so do you have many reports? I mean, let's face it, you're, you're hearing voices and there's demons and there's knockings going on. And, and you know, this isn't uh, phony baloney stuff. This, this happens. This, this is the invisible world. <laughs> How would you like to sense the presence of angels? That's, that's what was going on mm -hmm. inside of her house. But do you yes. have many reports of people that sense the, I mean, it was at this conference where they were talking about angels. Right. Uh, do you have many people People that have reports like that? Yes, I've had a lot of people that have, have had angelic visitations and just the, the presence of God and dreams, visions, and um, they, they feel like it opens the atmosphere up to receive from the heavenly realm. And you know, so, I love it when you sing to people spirit to spirit. Do you enjoy mm -hmm. that? Yes, because it bypasses everything else. Music can, by it bypasses your mind 
in whatever's going on with your body. And I believe that we can bless our spirit and ble the, when we bless our spirit, our spirit gets stronger and we, our spirit actually, we're a three-part being, spirit, soul, body, and our spirit can then sort of be in charge of our soul and our body. And so that's the order it needs to happen in. You know what I'd like you to do? Can I hold your hand? Uh -huh. Would you sing to me? <laughs> I see a childlike faith in you. I see a heart of love in you. I see the eyes of Jesus in you looking into mine. I bless your spirit. I bless your spirit to know, to know the depth of the love of God for you, to know, to know the purposes he has for you. And God has purposes for you. He hasn't forgotten you. He heard you say that. God, have you forgotten me? He hasn't forgotten you. And, and I'm, I'm telling you, people are being healed right now because the presence of God is here. But get to know God. Just say, Jesus, help. <laughs> Make it that simple for you because he's ready now. Hey everyone, I just want to tell you about a new way we have to listen to Julie True Soaking Worship Music. It is the Sounds of Healing Soundbox SD Card. This little chip has over 82 hours of continuous soaking worship music. It has all 20 Julie True Soaking Worship albums loaded onto it, and it pairs with the DOS Soundbox portable speaker system. All you do is take this little chip that comes in the mail and you will get your speaker. There's a slot on the side for your um, sound box chip to go in. You just stick it right in there, push it in and hit the power button. And the mode button on top is the only other thing you need to press and it will automatically start playing continuous soaking worship music. It's battery powered and portable so you can take it anywhere you wanna go. You can take it um, with you to work, in the car, um, to hospitals, nursing homes, anywhere where you want to create an environment of peace and comfort. But you can also keep it plugged into the charger and it will play continuously 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year until you stop it. So it's a really incredible gift and just a great way to create that environment of rest in your home or anywhere you want to go. So we hope you enjoy this. Sounds Appealing Soundbox SD card. It's available now at juliedream.com.